Now then, hi everyone. It's been quite a while since I've done a YouTube video, so I thought I'd uh, pop on before the video and uh, let you see who, who's been behind the camera and scratching away at the pens. Um, so, yeah, I've got a good excuse for not being able to to film uh, much YouTube content lately. It's been my, um, you may have known if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, I've been writing a book and the commissioned piece is now with my publishers. Now that sounds quite, um, quite posh, publishers. Uh, and they're laying it all out and typesetting the, the pages for me to proofread again. Um, I've seen the cover and I'll pop a screenshot of the cover proof which I've approved at the end of this video so you can see it um, and publication date is probably sometime early next year so yeah thanks for your patience and thanks for uh, watching and continually commenting and writing to me it means an awful lot um, so there you go, I'll turn the camera around and I'm going to crack on with um, a painting I'm currently occupied with. It's a new piece for the Staithes Festival of Arts, which is on September 15th to 17th. And if anybody's in the northwest of, sorry, northeast of England and handy for the Yorkshire coast, it'd be fantastic to see you. Okay, take care and I hope you enjoy this. This will be part one. This is going to be the, the drawing bit, the ink bit. Uh, and I'm going to be using um, a Twisby fountain pen filled with um, my usual Rora and Klingner waterproof ink. Thanks a lot. So here's the pen I'm using. It's a, a Twisby, one I bought in lockdown and it's filled with this ink look Rora and Klingner uh, black ink is the colour uh, so here's the whoops there's the view of stairs I've decided to draw um, and I'm using I'm drawing on this is not Saunders Waterford this is actually Arches 300 gram rough it's got a lovely textured finish um, I've already done a, m a slightly more detailed um, pencil outline than I normally would um, but I want it to be a bit more accurate than than a, a sketch for the festival, I want it to be reasonably um, recognisable. Uh, so, yeah. So as I said in the introduction, um, apologies for the long delay since my last video, um, but I've been preoccupied writing and drawing my book which will be published early next year and I'm going to put a screenshot at the end of the cover that the publishers designed for me I'm quite pleased with it it seems strange to to see something I'll do that in a second um, Because normally, as many of you might know, I was a graphic designer for a long time, so anything that I published, like my sketchbooks, I've done all the design myself and the layout. Um, and it's really quite refreshing to see my images uh, laid out by, by another eye. It's really... I'm quite looking forward to the book because I know if I designed the book it would look 
completely different to how it probably will turn out, but that's there. Anyway, enough about the book. I should talk about what I'm doing here. Um, I have been drawing with a fountain pen quite a bit lately because I still use uni pins, I still use the fine things, but what I've found out about these, what I've realised with a fountain pen is that you can actually vary. You see, I'm hardly pressing down there, but as the minute I put some pressure on, the nib spreads and I get a lovely, a lovely variable line. It's, it really is. It's a lot more responsive than a technical pen. Um, needs a bit more care. You need to look after it. Let's get this inked in. So I don't remember. I probably won't film the whole of this drawing because I want to keep it reasonably short. Um, but what I will do is film the painting stage of it. Um, you can't, you see, I'm looking at the reference photograph an awful lot more, and this is like the thing I'm drawing now is like a a jumble of rocks. There must be some reason why they're all there at that side of the beck in staves. So yeah, this is a piece destined for the Staves Festival, which is running again this year, as I said, um, for the first time since lockdown. Um, so it's quite exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing just how many people come out and visit. For those who aren't aware of what the States Festival is all about, it's you see these cottages here. These are just over the, these are at the north side of the Beck. The bulk of the village is over there uh, on the south. And all these, lots of the cottages turn into mini galleries for the weekend. So I'm in a new, a new location for this year because the owners of the cottage I was in since 2013 decided to, they wanted to move on and sell so that, that was lovely, it was fantastic um, place to be in right at the top of the village directly opposite this this is called Cow Bar and if you could go across from there my the cottage I was in was right across the back there um, Sorry, I'm moving this around a bit too, a bit too much. Um, so what I'm doing now, I'm kind of tightening my grip on the, on the pen, because I want the, these lines to be fairly accurate. Um, there's lots of tiny details like the windows and at this distance the windows can be just rendered in a um, just in a, a pair of lines because at that distance your eye really wouldn't see I'm omitting there's a car park there but if you can see it there's a car parked around here, but I'm leaving that out. Um, so let's get this on here. Yes, I hope everybody's been okay while I've been beavering away and writing. I think it was 49,000 words I wrote and about 100 odd new drawings because the conditions of the contract were that the drawings I did couldn't have been seen by anybody prior to publication so that was quite a an ask hence the lack of any um, YouTube content um, so it took me six months. 
quite enjoyed the process, although there were moments of panic, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about the book you're here to watch. Um, I can totally see why uh, people do prefer to use a pencil underdrawing because there is that sense of security that you know you've you've kind of mapped out where the spaces and the drawings and everything are. Um, but I don't know if you can tell that the underdrawing didn't have much detail at all. And it's something those of you who have been on workshops or watch previous videos it's it's something I'm um, right, there's this lamp post there something I'm a big fan of not having too much detail in your drawing otherwise all you're doing is kind of carefully tracing over I prefer to think of the pencil drawing bit as just a a guideline And I'll put more pen work in, as is usual, after, after the painting stage. So let's just get some lines in here. There's a, again on the reference photograph. Let me just get that line there. A couple of sheds up in the in the hilltop but I'm gonna leave those out because they again at the distance they, they don't look much and sorry I haven't mentioned the sky um, because I'd let's put a few more random bits in the back some lines in to suggest the slope of the back down to the I'm putting some darks in with the pen there but the main areas of dark will go in with um, get that line in will go in with the, uh, the paint when I come to it which will be The subject of another video. Um, so while I had just the pencil I thought I may as well put the sky in um, so I didn't have to paint very carefully around a pre-drawn pencil line. Um, let's put a hit hint of some some brickworks. There's a fence that runs up there but I think I'll put that fence in um, after the paint stage. And so for now that's as much ink work as I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll need to erase all these pencil. Let's put this whatever this post happens to be Yeah, so we'll we'll do all this, and um, put some colour on, and finish it off, and add some emphasis lines, because it can be a bit confusing. Um, just realised I haven't popped in in ink these. See, the windows are just literally pairs of lines close together. It's just a suggestion. And what I will do, while I've got the pen on, you see I can press it a little bit harder and get like um, 
bit more of a, an emphasis line, a profile line along the top and this will help to bring the line of buildings forward from this this hillside um, and I'll add more profile lines here so there you go thanks for thanks for watching thanks for watching everything else and um, hope you've enjoyed it and keep your eye out for part two which I'll film in the next couple of days um, may wait a week or so before I upload that but that's enough for now so thanks everybody for watching Take care and see you again soon. Bye.